Hello everyone. In this video, I want to share my experience and a challenge that I had with an old version of HMI from Telemechanic. Actually, the touch screen of this HMI that you see in this picture is broken and I wanted to change it with the same model. Uh, this is the memory card that the program or the application is on it. First, I thought that uh, by inserting this memory card to the healthy HMI, it should work. But unfortunately, this is the message that appears uh, after turning on the HMI. I did too much search and finally I realized that uh, a PV number is written on the HMI. In original HMI that I had, then the number was 21, but in the healthy HMI is 7 and it is an older version. In the software XPTL 1000 that uh, fortunately it works even on Windows 10, uh, there is a tab to configure the terminal. In configuration, click on the terminal type. Here you can see for this model, there are two versions. And for one of them, it is written that the, that the PV is bigger than 20. It means that the application on memory card for broken HMI will not be compatible for the other HMI with PV7. And this is the problem. To solve it, you just change the type to another that it is for the older version and save the program. The next step is transferring application to memory card. I tried a lot to do it by communication cable that it is in um, that is that it is based on the manual, but uh, I was not successful, and this is the error message. And actually, I don't know what is the reason. Uh, it is not possible to um, connect to communication driver. Uh, there is another option, fortunately, and it is using the PC card reader. For transferring the application, go to Transfers and then Export Import to Folder and then select the folder location that it, is, that it should be the USB drive uh, that is created by the Windows automatically. Uh, select the drive and you see um, Apply Folder uh, that, is the, that it is the HMI application and click on OK. Then go to transfers and select to import export folder. Then this warning appears. Be sure that the address is OK and then uh, click on OK and it starts transferring. Okay, that's it. And now uh, insert the memory card to the HMI and it should work. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and please like this video and subscribe the channel. Have a good time.